It has four legs, eyes, and a body built to carry, with the ability to go wherever men can. The leg squad support system is the new solution for overburdened troops who carry nearly 100 pounds of survival and protection gear in the field. Dismount squads like to move under cover and concealment. They do not want to move on road. That tells you right away that if you can have a robotic platform, it must be able to go over logs, through streams. The Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Amos, and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Director Arati Prabhakar saw a demonstration of the system at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia, and learned about the 24-month initiative designed to refine and enhance the program. Now that you've got a capable platform, it's now taking the sensors, making them much more uh, effective. They're already effective, but taking it to a new level so that not only it can perceive the world around it better, but it can interact with the Marines better. So that's what you're going to see over the next 24 months is how do you uh, make it more effective in the hands of those Marines uh, out in the field. Once complete, this beast of burden can take the load off troops, allowing them to focus on their mission. So everything we do, we endeavor to lighten the load, but where LS3 is particularly effective in that regard is the fact that it takes equipment directly off that Marine's back, whether it be you know, mortar base plates, uh, whether it be ammunition, uh, spare ammunition, whether it be packs, uh, a lot of different areas. Corporal Christopher Baines, reporting from Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia.